my god. Look, mammoth. Oh my god. What is up? It's Mac. I'm back. We are on ice. We're out here, southwestern Manitoba, on the Cinnaboyne River, chasing sturgeon, baby. First ice, we're out here sitting on about six inches of ice. You can see I got the tent and everything already set up. Uh, it's kind of, tough, kind of tough to see at the light, I think, but uh, we got a good uh, six and a bit inches of ice for sure. So, plenty safe. We got the lines down, heater on. We got the overnight set up ready. Pretty tough to see in that light. Yikes. But uh, ready to rock. Already getting into quite a few walleye here before, before dusk. So hopefully the walleye activity continues on and slowly tapers off into some sturgeon activity. This year I'll be rocking the Helix 9 with the Meg Alive energy. So far I'm loving it. No complaints yet. I'm very, very curious to see how it does in the deeper water with the lake trout. But uh, we'll see how it does. So far it's been excellent for sturgeon. I've had it once so far. And I, uh, I definitely saw some really, really nice fish moving through. But that was before anyone had bait. So good bait is crucial for sturgeon. It's all about the scent. Anyway, oh, we got a mark coming in here now. Sliding in from the shallower water side. Let's see. Oh, definitely already biting this rod. Yikes. this down and we'll deal with this fish. Oh, we got our first dino! Let's go! Dang! I'm just came in eight. That'll go to you. Oh, yikes! And there we go. First one of the night. Hopefully there's more to come. These fish have super, super sharp scoots on their back. I don't know if you can really see them in the light. Again, super crappy lighting, I know. But you gotta be careful with those little scoots because they can tear you up pretty good. Especially on the smaller ones. Anyway, let's get this guy back down there. Come on, buddy. Super hardy fish. Big tip for fishing for sturgeon through the ice. It takes time. This is one of my tricks to pass that time. Download yourself a bunch of Netflix and get ready to binge watch. But be ready. Just popped this super nice, probably 24 inch walleye. Got some sick footage of it on the live scope, or mega live, sorry, coming right up. Came up about five, six feet and just crushed it. Awesome fish. Get back down there. Just got another sturgeon. Second one so far. I got this light figured out a little bit here, so it should be a little bit better now. But uh, the scoots I'm talking about are these right here along the back. You can see, I don't know if that'll focus at all. Oh, he's kind of curled around the GoPro. But uh, they're just like little knives. Super, super sharp. You gotta be very, very careful. Because like I said, they will tear you up. They're super hardy fish, so they are super, super resilient. But you still do gotta take good care of them. Got like this crazy wave, got like four sturgeon quick there, and then this little bit better one came in. I don't think it's too too big, but definitely a little bit better of a fish. Such powerful fish, it's absolutely insane how strong they are. See if you can give that to you a better angle, maybe. Such powerful fish. A little bit better. Getting there. Just 
go for the tail grab, maybe. Long, skinny one. Hooked a little bit funny on the side of the fin. There we go. Now we got her. Look at that. It's a little bit better. Hooked a little bit funny right there. Hooks out. Let's see if we can get a good look at her here. All right. Well, that's what we're after. Ooh. That's nice. Probably, probably gonna go master sturgeon. First ice, baby. Let's get a quick measurement on it. Tip of the nose, all the way down. 44 and a little bit. Right on. 44 and a quarter inch sturgeon. Super nice, pretty fish. Gorgeous. Gotta love them. Such a powerful fin on them. They can just push so much water with that big tail. Your muscle. Right on. Let's go. Back. Come on, the big mark's back. <coughs> Just bite. There we go. Finally, stuck him. Oh yeah, he's got some weight. Got some weight. Yep. These fish, they run so far, so fast. They just cut so deep into the ice with your line. So you really gotta stick your rod down there sometimes and just get that line out of that groove. Nice. Just dogging. That's what it's all about. Just peel them line. There we go. That's the groove I'm talking about. Man, she had her peel them line. Super, super strong fish. Man, I haven't even got a visual of it yet. Should be close now. I want to fluoro. Oh yeah, what a nice fish. Like such a sick fish. Get to see him fight like that, just right under the ice. Like you cannot beat that. No way. It's so awesome. All right. Man, super fat, healthy one. This one here is just 43 inches, but so fat, so much fatter than that last one. Even though the last one was an inch and a quarter longer. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Well, hooked up again. Definitely had a bit of a lull there in between fish. Caught a few other small ones. And then just had a couple nice marks come through. I think I got the smaller of the two marks. Hooked it pretty, pretty funny here. Now what? Let's see if I can get that tail grab on you. There we go. Hooked right in the belly. Too wet. Well. There's another super nice fish. Not too, too big, but super nice, super healthy. Send one river sturgeon, just what we're after. Let's get a good release on her. Send her home. Go find your mama. Woo! I was just going to bed. It's a super fat mark roll through. Bumped this rod and slowly slid across to, to this hole over here. So we'll see if it bumps this rod here and I can give it a good swing. There we go. Nice. Oh, 
definitely not as big as I thought. It's so nice to have a nice long handle on a rod while fighting a bigger fish like this. It takes away from all that fatigue of just using strictly a wrist. This one's hooked nice in the mouth though. Yeah, that one's super nice, healthy one. Like I said, not as big as I thought, but still super nice, healthy fish. Get her back down there. Super nice fish. Right on. Man, these things are active snake. I think that's probably my 12th or 13th fish of the night. 12th or 13th sturgeon, I should say. Before that, I obviously caught a few walleye. But, um, yeah, I mean, like most nights, definitely aren't this action-packed. This is definitely one of the better nights I've seen for numbers, at least. And still some nicer ones mixed in, but still looking for that giant. Hopefully we can get him. Just got the awakening of bells. And this one just smoked it. Seems to have some decent weight. Man, this fish is strong. Could this be the one? Seems way more strong than the low 40s we got earlier. Definitely seems like it has some more weight to it. So hard to say though. These things fight so hard. <laughs> Woo! That's what it's about. Cannot beat the fight of a big sturgeon. I love it. It's taking out so much line. I'm getting the wax build up around the guides from the ice line. Dang, no shortage of power. Man. Just peeling line. This is definitely where it's nice to have the long handle on the rod. Otherwise your wrist would just be dead. I don't know if you can see on the camera, but there's like crazy wax build up on the guides from this ice line. From this fish pulling all the line through. So awkward in the shallow water. Because I was saying earlier, those fish run so far and they change angles and it just cuts into the ice so deep. You gotta be super careful. So those fish can only swim so far down and they have to swim out, right? They can't just, it's not just an up and down battle like it is with lake trout. So you gotta do a lot more angle changes. Okay, we're at the knot again. There's his tail, man, is that big. That's huge compared to the other ones. Goodness, that's big. That's big. Oh my god. Look at that thing. That's freaking huge. That's a freaking pig. Oh my goodness. My goodness gracious, that's big. That's a freaking mammoth. Oh my god. Oh, that's huge. Look at this freaking fish. Oh my God, is that big. That is so big. That thing's freaking huge. Look at how wide it is. Like what? This thing's huge. Massive. Oh, look at the freaking size of this thing. I can't believe it. Oh. So fat, so big, absolute mutant. 
awesome fish. Okay, let's get a super nice shot of this. One last look at this absolute beast sturgeon. Check out the size of the head on that thing. What a mammoth. This one was over 50 inches. And look at the size of this fish. So fat, so healthy. These are the fish you want to keep in your river systems. Man, you gotta think with a fish like this too, like this fish could easily be much older than I am. So strong, ready to kick off here. Look at that. That is what it's all about. Let's go! What's up? Three o'clock. Just hooked up into another nice fish. Heard some bells. Set off the flag a couple times. And finally I said, screw it, I'm just gonna sit here and watch it. And finally this fish bit it. I buried this hook. Man, that's a nice one. Super nice fish. Super, super sick. Let's go. Hook right in the yap. Look at that beast. Come on, spin around. I'm gonna grab a tail. There it is. Grab the tail. Nice. Super nice fish. Well, that's another master angler sturgeon. This one's 45 and a half, I believe it was. Look at that beak on that thing. So awesome. What a nice way to start the morning. Well, probably gonna go back to bed still, but can't complain. Gotta love it. So much power. Right on. Let's go. Master angler number four. Woo! We made it. We made it through the night. Definitely had a few other uh, alarms in the night with fish. Got to the point where I just had to reel up and just call her a night. Boy needed his rest. I think we're probably gonna do another night out here tomorrow night. So we're gonna have one day break. Hopefully I can get through all this footage and stuff. Get all figured out, sorted out. We'll get back to you.